X-ray or any uh, recordings, we call it as gram. Bronchogram means record of bronchus. Bronchitis, inflammation of bronchus. Bronchoplasty, surgical repair of bronchus. Bronchogenic, anything produced by the bronchus. Either it may be carcinogenic, uh, cancer, either it may be mucus. Anything, if it is produced by bronchus, we call it as bronchogenic. Bronchoscope, instrument to view the bronchus. Bronchospasm. Involuntary muscle contraction of bronchus. Bronchial pertaining or related to bronchus. Coming to the next. Bronchiectasis, which means dilated bronchus. And diaphragmatic, pertaining to diaphragm. Laryngectomy, surgical removal of larynx. Laryngitis, uh, inflammation of larynx. Laryngoplasty. Surgical repair of larynx. Laryngoscope, uh, instrument to view the larynx. Laryngeal, pertaining to larynx. Laryngoplegia, paralysis of larynx. And lobectomy, surgical removal of the lobe of the lungs. Pleurosynthesis, puncturing to withdraw the pleural fluid. And pleurectomy, surgical removal of pleura. Pleurodynia, pleural pain. Dynia or uh, algae means pain only. Oximeter, instrument used to measure the oxygen. Anoxia, a condition with no oxygen. And coming to the next, hypoxemia, insufficient uh, oxygen in the blood. Hypoxia, insufficient oxygen. If you get emia as the suffix, that means the related to blood. Pharyngitis, inflammation of pharynx. Pharyngeal, pertaining to pharynx. Nasopharyngitis, inflammation of nose and pharynx. Pulmonologist, lung specialist. So if we have anything like asthma, bronchiectasis, atelectasis, or uh, any lung infection, chest infection, we have to consult the pulmonologist. Pulmonary, pertaining or related to the lungs. And rhinitis. Inflammation of nose. Rhino or naso. Both means nose only. Rhinomycosis. Abnormal condition of fungus in nose. Rhinoplasty. Surgical repair of nose. And rhinoragia. Rapid flow from the nose. Rhinorrhea, which means nose discharge. Pan-sinusitis. Inflammation of all sinuses. Thoracalgia, which means chest pain. Thoracic, pertaining to the chest. Thoracotomy, incision into the chest. And endotracheal, pertaining to within trachea. Tracheotomy, incision into trachea. Tracheostenosis, narrowing of the trachea. Aphonia, which means no voice, because phonia means voice. Dysphonia, abnormal voice. Acapnea, no carbon dioxide. Hypercapnia, excess of carbon dioxide. Anosmia, means no smell, because osmia means smell. Hemothorax, blood in the chest. Pyothorax, pus in the chest. Pneumothorax, air in the chest. And apnea, which means no breathing. Bradyapnea, uh, slow breathing. Dyspnea, difficulty or uh, uh, labored breathing. Eupnea, which means normal breathing. Hyperapnea, excessive breathing. And hypopnea, insufficient breathing. Orthopnea, straight breathing. Because O-R-T-H-O, ortho means straight. And tachyapnea, rapid breathing. And coming to the vocabulary part, the first one is asphyxia. Asphyxia means due to lack of oxygen, the person first lead to unconsciousness. Later, if it progresses, then the person will die immediately. So that we call it as asphyxia. So aspiration. Uh, if any fluid or phlegm was collected, that, that has to be aspired. Means that has to be removed. Mostly the phlegm will be uh, secreted in the trachea and that will be stuck in the trachea itself. So that has to be removed with the help of suction mission. That we call it as aspiration. And next, Chinese Stokes respiration, which is abnormal breathing 
with long periods of apnea followed by deep and rapid respiration suddenly the breathing will stop suddenly it will increase suddenly it will stop so like the alternating things will be there that we call it as chinese stokes respiration and clubbing if the person is having any respiratory disease his fingers will be bulged i'll show you in the picture this is because of oxygen deficiency cyanosis cyano means blue cyanosis means abnormal bluish discoloration of the skin due to low oxygen content epistasis nose bleeding if anyone punched at the nose we will get immediate bleeding with that uh, bleeding around the nose we call it as epistasis hemoptysis coughing up the blood or uh, blood stain blood stain sputum we call it as hemoptysis hyperventilation when the breathing is too fast and too deep we call it as hyperventilation and hypoventilation the breathing will be too slow and too shallow and internal medicine which is a branch of medicine involving in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases of internal organs and the physician we call him as internist so any internal organs if uh, we are going with the diagnosis and treatment we call it as internal medicine and nasal cannula uh, you can see this in movies also when the patient is wearing uh, wearing a tube in nearby the nose with two prong like structure so that tube we call it as nasal cannula which will deliver the oxygen to the nose or topnia the person will have difficulty when lying flat when he come to sitting position he can breathe normally oto rhino laryngology i think but ent specialist so oto means ear rhino means nose larynx means throat so ent ear nose and throat so branch of medicine involving in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases especially of ear nose and throat so together we call it as oto rhino laryngology and patent anything open or unblocked we call it as patent and percussion using fingers to tap on the surface to determine the condition so uh, actually to see whether the lungs is filled with air phlegm then what they will do is they will tap on the chest so to uh, know the sound so if the sound is uh, resonance then they will find out that is air inside the lungs if they are not hearing the enough sound then they will decide some phlegm or some mucus is there in the chest pleural rub so when the person is respiring the grating sound will be heard that we call it as pleural rub pulmonology which is a branch of internal medicine involving in the diagnosis and treatment of diseases of respiratory system and the physician we call him as pulmonologist and rails and bronchi so these are like abnormal sounds coming from the chest uh, while inspiration if we get the abnormal crackling sound that means rails while expiration if we get the musical sound then we call it as bronchi rails is because of mucus in the airway bronchi is because of uh, ab- involuntary contraction of the bronchi respiratory therapy so this is one of the specialist allied health specially uh, with respiration and cardiopulmonary diseases and sob which means shortness of breath so indicates uh, indicates that the patient is having difficulty we call that as dyspnea and sputum the phlegm coughed up from the respiratory tract we call it as sputum and strider which is harsh and high pitched breath sound indicates the obstruction in the airway that we call it as strider <coughs> and coming to the next thoracic surgery uh, this comes under the branch of medicine involving in the diagnosis and treatment of the respiratory diseases by surgery and croup croup means acute respiratory condition in children so there will be it will be coughing will be like a barking sound diphtheria uh, when we are uh, very young age we will take a vaccination we call it as dpt diphtheria pertussis and tetanus uh, diphtheria is because of a bacterial infection which causes a thick mucus across the chest so usually the uh, the children will die because of diphtheria 
and petrosis is also a bacterial infection which is uh, characterized by oofing cough means uh, continuously they are getting the sputum and asthma so there will be difficulty in breathing caused by bronchospasm involuntary uh, bronchospasm means involuntary contraction of bronchi dyspnea means abnormality in breathing and coughing coughing and wheezing so wheezing means getting whistling sound when the person is expiring that we call it as wheezing and bronchiectasis enlarged bronchi due to destruction of bronchial wall so this is because of infection also bronchogenic carcinoma so cancer that is uh, originated in the bronchi itself and ards adult respiratory distress syndrome so which is acute respiratory failure so the person will have tachyapnea dyspnea cyanosis and hypoxemia anthracosis anthro means black cosis means abnormal disease anthracosis means black lung disease usually the person who is working in the coal mines they will get this uh, anthracosis means coal dust will be deposited in the lungs so they will have all the respiratory problems asbestosis this is actually the person working in the construction industry they'll get this asbestosis because their lungs were, will be filled with uh, asbestos which is used in under the construction so these both are the types of pneumoconiosis pneumo means uh, lungs coniosis means dust uh, was being accumulated in the lungs so both are dust only the, the anthracosis is coal dust asbestosis is asbestos dust atelectasis so which is a condition in which the alveoli in a uh, in a portion will collapse so if the alveoli collapse the gaseous exchange will become problematic and copd chronic obstructive pulmonary disease which is a progressive chronic and usually irreversible group of conditions like emphysema so lungs will have decreased capacity they can't take more amount of air into the lungs usually asthma is a type of copd cystic fibrosis this is actually a genetic condition it will come from our parents and our grandparents they will have very thick mucus and they'll have tightness in the chest so that we call it as congestion in the lungs an emphysema which is a chronic lung condition so the alveolar walls will get destructive histoplasmosis fungal infection of lungs we call it as histoplasmosis and irds infant respiratory distress syndrome which is most common in premature infants so which is characterized by so tachy uh, when the baby was born before 7 months or before 8 uh, months they'll keep in incubator with ventilator support because the babies can't breathe properly so that we call it as irds infant respiratory distress syndrome we also call it as hyaline membrane disease because their membrane was not properly developed due to premature delivery influenza this is a viral infection to the chest and because we call it as flu general uh, uh, the thing infection we call it as flu and legionnaire's disease which is severe bacterial infection causing pneumonia liver and kidney damage mycoplasma pneumonia so this is caused by the bacteria called mycoplasma and we also call this as walking pneumonia pneumoconiosis accumulation of foreign particles like any dust so like coal dust asbestos and uh, any other dust particles we call it as pneumoconiosis anthracosis and asbestosis becomes under pneumoconiosis and pcp pneumocystic carney pneumonia this is the pneumonia caused especially to the aids patient pneumonia actually what is pneumonia means inflammation of the lungs so this which results in alveoli is filled with fluid pulmonary edema excessive amount of tissue fluid that got accumulated in the lungs pulmonary embolism so the floating blood clots will obstruct the pulmonary artery so which actually causes the infarction means death of the lung tissue the pulmonary fibrosis formation of fibrous scars in the tissue 
uh, which reduces the ability for the lung expansion. And SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome. So which is, this is also viral bacterial, so viral infection. So it is like a flu only, but the person will die, uh, have, can die also because of this flu. Silicosis. This is also a type of pneumoconiosis. Here, the, the accumulation of silica dust, mainly the person working in pottery industry, they'll get this silicosis. Sleep apnea. The person stops breathing suddenly while sleeping. That we call it a sleep apnea. Uh, SIDS, sudden infant death syndrome. So unexpectedly, unexplainedly, the baby will die. So we can't tell the proper reason also. Sudden infant death syndrome, that's it. There is no proper reason for that. TB, tuberculosis, which is caused by bacteria. We can see the inflammation in the chest and calcification of the lungs. The lungs will become very, very hard. And emphyma. So the pus was accumulated in the pleural uh, space. We call this as pyothorax. Pleural effusion. Accumulation of fluid in the pleural cavity, which prevents the lungs from fully expanding. Pleurisy, which means inflammation of the pleura, which is characterized by sharp pain with each breath. And pneumothorax, collection of air in the pleural cavity may result in collapsed lungs. So this is pneumothorax. You can see here the air got uh, accumulated in the chest region. And coming to this uh, clinical laboratory test, ABG. If the person is having any abnormality in the chest, they can go for a blood test. In the blood test, they will see the amount of oxygen, amount of carbon dioxide. With that, they will confine whether the lungs are working properly or not. And next, sputum culture and sensitivity. If the person is having any infection, then they will collect the sputum and they will culture it. And according to the bacteria, they will give the antibiotic. Like for example, if the person is suffering from TB, they will give one type of drugs. If the person is suffering from diphtheria, petrosis, they'll give some other types of drugs. Based on the bacteria, they'll prescribe the antibiotics. Sputum cytology. They will examine the sputum if, the, if it is having any cancer cells. Malignant cells means cancer cells. Bronchography. Taking an X-ray of bronchus by inhaling the radio-opaque substance. Chest X-ray. X-ray of the organ of the thoracic cavity. Pulmonary angiography. So taking an X-ray of the lungs after injecting a dye into the blood vessel. Ventilation perfusion scan, which comes under the nuclear medicine. So they'll inhale the radioactive air and then they will take an X-ray. Bronchoscopy. So they will go for the visual examination of bronchial tubes by using the instrument called bronchoscope. Laryngoscopy visual examination of larynx using the laryngoscope instrument. So this is the laryngoscope instrument, bronchoscope instrument. So with this instrument, they will see inside the bronchi what is happening. And oximeter. So uh, with the help of the instrument oximeter, they will measure the oxygen levels in the blood. Usually when the patient is in the ICU or in the emergency, they'll put one clip to the finger. So that is actually an oximeter. PFT, pulmonary function test. So this is to check the lung volumes and lung capacities. And the spirometry. So this is to measure the lung capacity by using the instrument called spirometer. Polysobonography. So in this, they will check the sleep. Actually, they'll monitor the sleep if the person is having any sleep apnea or not. Sweat test. When the person is having cystic fibrosis, they will take the sweat and they will check the salt in the sweat. If there are large amount of salt, then they will suspect the person is having cystic fibrosis. TB test, tuberculin skin test. So they will put a purified protein derivative under the skin. So to see whether the person is exposed to the tuberculosis or not. And coming to the respiratory therapy, aerosol therapy. We all know that when the person is having any asthma, they'll put an inhaler or we call that as meter dose inhaler. 
or they will put a nebulizer so that will convert the liquid into a gaseous mist so that how it will deliver the medication and endotracheal incubation they will place a tube through the mouth into the trachea to keep the airway open that we call it as endotracheal incubation ippb method for assisting patients in breathing with the mission so to increase the positive thoracic pressure so then they can expire the air out of the lungs postural drainage so this is they will place the patient so relate towards the gravity so the sputum will come into the mouth automatically with assisting the gravity that positioning we call it as postural drainage supplementary oxygen therapy when the person need additional oxygen they will deliver with the oxygen cylinder with the help of nasal cannula and ventilator so we all know artificial ventilation for the patient when the patient cannot breathe himself thoracosynthesis if the person is having any pyothorax or uh, pneumothorax hemothorax then they will surgically puncture the chest so and they will drain the fluid actually to see what is there inside the lungs thoracostomy creating a new opening into the chest to insert a tube uh, why do they insert the tube is to drain the unwanted fluid tracheostomy which is an emergency procedure they will put a hole in the uh, in the tracheal region and they will put the ventilator to make the breathing easier cpr so cardiopulmonary resuscitation this is an emergency treatment when the person is under emergency the cpr can be learned by anyone so suddenly when the patient was been under accident or when the patient was drowning or fallen from the height when we are at that situation we can do cpr by chest compressions and mouth to mouth breathing mouth to nose breathing so this that, that whole thing we call it as cpr hemlich maneuver when the person is having any choking the the other person will hold the person and they will kick into the chest so whatever struck stuck in the trachea that will come out that maneuver we call it as hemlich maneuver this is done especially to the choking patients coming to the pharmacology antibiotics which kills the bacteria such as tb um, diphtheria pertussis antihistamine so this is given especially to the allergic attack so like uh, asthma is an allergy for all the asthmatic patients they will be taken antihistamine anti tissue so which relieves the urge to cough when the person is having too much of cough they will give the cough syrups so uh, vix is also an anti tissue that will decrease the cough bronchodilator so this will relax the bronchospasm especially given for asthma patients corticosteroids this is especially given to the inflammatory condition of the thoracic tract respiratory tract decongestants this will relieve the chest congestion particularly this is given to the pneumonia patients and expectorant so the person will have the ability to cough the mucus out so mostly the syrups in the cough syrup you can see expectorant cough syrup mucolytic usually when the person is having very thick sputum or mucus that will liquefy the mucus and uh, and so that the coughing will make up easier so coming to the vocabulary abgs arterial blood gas ards adult respiratory distress syndrome bronch means bronchoscopy co2 carbon dioxide copd chronic obstructive pulmonary disease cpr cardio pulmonary resuscitation cns culture and sensitivity cta clear to auscultation and next uh, cxr chest x ray doe dyspnea on exertion when the person is walking like uh, walking or stay climbing suddenly he will have uh, abnormal breathing dpt diphtheria pertussis tetanus which is vaccination ent ear nose and throat erv expiratory reserve volume frc functional residual capacity hmd highland membrane disease or infant respiratory distress syndrome ic inspiratory capacity ipb intermittent positive pressure breathing irds infant respiratory distress syndrome 
IRDS or HMD both are same. IRV, inspiratory reserve volume. LLL, left lower lung. LUL, left upper lung. MDI, meter dose inhaler. O2 means oxygen. PCP, pneumocystis carni pneumonia. PFT, pulmonary function test. PPD, which we also call it as tuberculin test. Purified protein derivative. R means respiration. RA, room air. RDS, respiratory distress syndrome. RLL, right lower lung. RML, right middle lung. RRT, registered respiratory therapist. RV, residual volume. RUL, right upper lung. SARS, severe acute respiratory syndrome. Six, sudden infant death syndrome. SOB, shortness of breath. TB means tuberculosis. TLC, total lung capacity. TPR, temperature, pulse, respiration. TB, tidal volume. URI, upper respiratory infection. VC, which means vital capacity. That's it. So that's all about the respiratory system. Any doubts regarding this? No, ma'am. Joy? Yes, ma'am. Okay, I think uh, today your topics got over, right? Yes, ma'am. So you can move to your coding class, yeah? Okay, ma'am. Okay, if you are having any doubts, uh, you can contact me, okay? I'll share, okay, I'll share you this PDF uh, in the group so you can. Okay, ma'am. And uh, Ali? Shetik Ali? Hello? Hello. Uh, Ramya? Ma'am. Uh, Mikinka, any topics in my balance? You are not a dish, ma'am. You are not a dish. Next. I, ear, mm. lymphatic. Blood, 